uh, dear friends, colleagues, uh, thank you very much for this uh, wonderful opportunity to present uh, to you all the result of uh, 13 years of uh, this work. Uh, I will briefly tell you uh, how it got started. My mother was editor-in-chief of a corporate uh, scientific journal, uh, paper-based, uh, uh, from one of the uh, facilities in Russia, uh, which worked in low-level uh, radioactive waste treatment and processing and disposal. And I joined her in 2006 uh, as an editor of a journal. And in 2008, I created this website. So it's been 13 years it's been running. It's based on semantic technology. And uh, I would also like to say that in 2010, I had a great pleasure of attending the, the first uh, nuclear energy management school in Trieste uh, by the IAA, where I learned uh, really the, the fascinating basics of, uh, of nuclear power and its uh, uh, future potential. So. Um, let me start. Uh, I would like you just to, uh, if you remember about this presentation, just two lessons that uh, in uh, nowadays in addressing uh, nuclear uh, communications uh, uh, issues and problems, in my personal opinion, uh, uh, we should uh, really uh, talk to the eighth graders and uh, uh, figure out uh, what is interesting to them, uh, what are the best ways to motivate them to learn, uh, to study nuclear. And because uh, this is this is the, the generation that is uh, open uh, to uh, nuclear much more than the, than the older ones, and they're really interested in science and technology, and um, a lot of them are interested in nuclear. And the second uh, point of my presentation then that if you are working in nuclear communications, you should have an open system and knowledge management, uh, because uh, it's uh, uh, the, the 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 key point of our internet project was to bring together society and nuclear specialists, and to show that there is the only way to develop nuclear is to uh, do it together, uh, mutually uh, open and transparent uh, with respect to all uh, social levels and strata. Uh, so uh, this website that I will present to you is a startup uh, which studies the uh, the semantic uh, uh, layers of nuclear communications and nu nuclear data. And uh, it does not study only scientific data, it studies uh, the scientific, uh, technological, business and social informata, information and data and what can we extract uh, to create, uh, to create uh, uh, a semantic uh, uh, digital uh, structure and ed educational first and foremost uh, image, content, and language, uh, which would greatly assist the public and the specialists in, in learning about uh, nuclear. So what is uh, semantics? Uh, semantics is a branch of linguistics and pretty much it's a branch of ontology. Ontology studies the, the, the nature uh, of meaning itself, the nature of knowledge, and semantics uh, studies the, the, the specific meanings of language units, of words, of, of, of phrases, uh, of meanings, and um, uh, so basically, I will explain to you our technology. Uh, we have published over uh, 120,000 of news articles, expert comments, scientific papers uh, since 2008. And all this data has a certain, uh, certain semantic information in it. And we have uh, designed uh, based on an open source system. Uh, it's a Drupal, a Drupal 7 uh, content management system. Uh, um, for, for, web, for basic websites, uh, we have devised a system to uh, to turn pretty much this general data into semantically structured content, and it's our belief that uh, this such system creates uh, a dynamic learning environment and learning experience where you do not just only uh, get um, the, uh, the, the the just the, the one piece of information, you also get the surrounding. Uh, uh, the interrelated, interconnected uh, content, which you can also very fast go go learn about the development of different areas, uh, and um, we pretty much have uh, the seven layers, the uh, the the structure um, of our uh, semantic uh, semantic technology is uh, seven layers. Uh, it's uh, we have uh, seven databases of uh, over two thousand organizations. Uh, Russian and global. Uh, we also include the new startups, which are a new thing, a uh, nuclear, and there are many more coming, and we keep track of all of them. Uh, about uh, it's almost 2,000 now experts, 
Uh, it's uh, 1,500 keywords, 1,000 topics, uh, 1,000 geographical uh, names, uh, about 1,000 events, uh, and uh, 500 information sources. So this uh, seven uh, uh, seven uh, uh, knowledge databases is what we use to do semantic uh, analysis of all the public uh, information in regards to nuclear communications and nuclear knowledge management. And the structure of our report, of our website, is uh, uh, based on news. Uh, originally, we based it on the, the archive of our nuclear and environmental safety magazine, which was bilingual uh, edition in two languages, and we covered uh, the whole of backend in Russia and the world, mostly Russia, of course. And the IAA's library was uh, our uh, proud subscriber of our magazine back in 2007, 8, 9. And uh, the website grew out of it based on the articles of the magazine, but now uh, it's mostly news. It's about 95% news. And so we have over 100,000 uh, 100, news, uh, 2,000 videos, uh, export commands, interviews. You can see, you can see the, the numbers on the, on the slide, uh, article science papers. So we try to combine both the news uh, side, which is very interesting to society, we try to bring there the analytical side, uh, which is uh, 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 expert commands, interviews, and articles. Because articles are problematic, they, they pose a problem, so they're analytical as well. And the scientific side, such as science papers, and we also have a special format, another type of publication, which is called technology, where specifically, not sent, it's not a science paper, it's a presentation of technologies. And we do it for, for companies, for business, for our business uh, partners who, who are our advertisers, so they can specifically uh, uh, promote just their technologies. Uh, and of course, photos, books, galleries, documents, all kinds of uh, other additional information to make a really interesting website for the public and the specialists both. Uh, the calendar, and uh, so uh, we're the largest website in Russia, uh, it's an independent startup. Uh, uh, we, uh, we have over 5,000 unique visitors daily because daily we do, we, we do an overview, aggregate a lot of news, about 40, 30, 40, 50 news. We rewrite the, the headlines, we, we edit the content to make it really much better, uh, which is a light edit, uh, just, to, just to make it uh, st uh, style, uh, st uh, appropriate with style. Uh, uh, additionally, we put additional photos uh, videos in it, and we also write our original news for our clients, uh, and for, for for example from the IAA website, which uh, has great uh, news team and really uh, a really a socially oriented and social interesting news about all kinds of uh, new technologies and the world nuclear news website and others. Uh, so we're called Nuclear 2.0. Uh, in, in, you see the, the in the right you see the the structure of our website. It's got a like a slider uh, and news. Uh, a news uh, uh, um, line and uh, later all kinds of all kinds of articles. So this is uh, uh, what is a semantic uh, what is a semantic uh, presentation of uh, of a person. For example, here you see the, the the presentation of an expert page. We have over almost two thousand experts. So we both include there the biography, the certain keywords, uh, uh, certain uh, um, categorization of the education organization. Uh, all kinds of materials you see that we attach, uh, it's sold out by, by hand. We do not use any machine uh, learning or, uh, or analysis yet, we would love to, but it needs, we need to take it to a much better level. Videos, so really when you look at a person, you see uh, a, a multi-layered uh, view of his activity uh, based on videos, photos, news, expert comments. Uh, his biography, so you really get a much better sense of a person who is actually working in nuclear because we have some really interesting people that are really make interesting statements and we want to, to have this knowledge uh, impact the society in the long run. Uh, here you see a presentation of a, of a company. Uh, this is all translated by Google Translate, unfortunately. It is not a, the best uh, translator, there are much better ones, but uh, it's the only one you can use uh, really fast on the website. There are mistakes, but uh, you see the general presentation of a company, which also has all kinds of materials, both news-based, both analytical, scientific, the videos, uh, photos, the, 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 the contacts, and everything. Uh, this is the, the event page, uh, and this is a, an interesting thing because uh, uh, you, you, you can see on some of the larger news websites, they do categorization by uh, tags, by people, uh, and by uh, organizations, and some do now based on events. 
So we have started, we, we, initially since 2008, we had this opportunity to do events. And uh, we will, here you can see we have 27 uh, news just based on this uh, recent uh, climate uh, summit, which uh, had really interesting uh, 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 points about nuclear for both the society and both the, the, uh, the, pub, uh, the specialists. So uh, we really try to take as much as we can from an event and make it really um, story-based and interesting to society and specialists. Uh, this, is the more, this is another interesting thing, is uh, the, the, the topic or keyword page. For example, here you see the VV, VVR uh, toy, uh, the, the, the newest, uh, the, the emerging uh, Russian light water reactor. And uh, you could see we have two, almost 240 materials on it, all kinds of videos, photos, uh, news. And this reactor has not even been implemented, and it's been done over the last maybe five, six years. This word came out, came out maybe even more. So you can really see the uh, based on semantic, uh, semantic structuring, semantic analysis of technology, of, of, of public communications. You can see the evolution of of uh, certain uh, knowledge nodes, knowledge uh, data. You can really track in time and get all kinds of uh, uh, views on it. Uh, here's a geography page. Uh, basically, uh, pretty much the same thing for a country. You get all kinds of news, all kinds of uh, things. It's all automated, but w each news we do, each each publication we do by hand. But our system um, uh, pretty much uh, puts it all together automatically. Uh, and here we come to to how we show uh, a, a standard publication semantically. So we try to have large photos, big photos. We try to put videos in it. Additional uh, additional images uh, to make it more uh, modern, youth oriented. Uh, because the youth is all, all is into videos, into photos, images. They need this additional content to make it interesting. Just plain text is very difficult to read. Uh, and you see the large uh, news, and then in the right column you see these green tags, these green semantic uh, semantic icons. It's like iconic semantic language. Uh, which uh, we drew, uh, we uh, designed, and uh, it helps to not just read the news, but to get the overall feeling of its content, of its most important uh, things, and to make it learning about nuclear easier for newcomers. Because the big problem is that uh, we want to get new people on board uh, for nuclear, and this educational system for both specialists and uh, the public uh, uh, is an uh, easy way to learn about nuclear very fast because, uh, like I said, we have uh, four, four areas of information. We have scientific information, we have uh, technological information, we have business information, and we have social information. And social is all kinds of news. It's sports, it's awards, uh, it's competition, it's youth, uh, everything nuclear, so it's not, just, uh, it's not just pure science and technology or... It's, it's all, all of it. Uh, here you see uh, the example of in the right column where you see, or, or, or on a mobile screen, in the right column how you see uh, our, uh, uh, our tags, icons, or se semantic, uh, semantic nodes. Uh, you see the amount of materials you have in each node. So we have uh, logotypes, pictures. Uh, we have a unique style to have uh, on a white on a white background to make people look more professional, more open to society. Uh, here you see the the Imani Yukia, who was a, a very great uh, leader of uh, IAEA's, uh, and of course the new Rafael Grossi. Uh, and this has all been accumulated over the 13 years of our work. Uh, Later, uh, this is a, a poor translation in English of our uh, taxonometry just by topics because we have 1,000 topics and, and about 2,000 keywords, and these are different things. Topics are general areas of interest, uh, which do not have any specific names, just general areas of expertise of, of activities. And uh, keywords are specific technology names, specific projects, and uh, we, we bring them apart. Uh, and we have a big taxonomy tree, which I spent a lot of time working on, our own for our own website, but it's hardly used, so perhaps uh, it takes a lot of time to work on it, uh, to update it constantly, and uh, perhaps we will maybe unite keywords and topics together and not worry about creating this beautiful taxonomy tree. Uh, uh, this is our semantic uh, keyword library, an example of the top, uh, top 
tw 20, I don't know how many there, uh, there are, uh, 25. Uh, the icons, uh, this is the best I could, I could use. I used the public, uh, the public icons. Uh, I fixed some of them, uh, edited. Ed of course, uh, because we have a very low budget, we, we don't have very much uh, uh, money. This is all was done based on open source technology and the public information. But this is how we try to add uh, to pure science and uh, pure text this semantic iconic language uh, to make it more interrelated, interconnected, to have the visual visual side of addressing public and specialists, to assist them in learning about nuclear, to about some of the interesting areas. And uh, from editing this semantic uh, side, I would say that uh, now, uh, when we started doing the, just the, the topics, it was just one series of topics, and over the time we made them better, improved them, brought them together uh, in categories uh, based on our content, and now they are maybe quite, a, quite another thing, better. Uh, this is the, the, the databases of our, uh, of our uh, people, experts, organizations, and events, which all have their amount of materials uh, in them. Uh, you see it's a, it's, a global, it's a global database of pretty much all the presidents, because the president's statements have an impact on our industry, so we have uh, our president of many, all, pretty much all presidents. Uh, we have, of course, we have the Russian leaders, the, uh, 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 we have many Russian specialists, and we try to update uh, as much as I can uh, with, with foreign, foreign specialists, because they're all very interesting to, to, to our audience. The organizations, uh, as you see, the IAA has over 4,000 uh, publications, and I have made a specific point to try as much to regularly translate the IAA news, because uh, in Russia only the um, maybe very large news agencies sometimes uh, do uh, translate IAA's news based on uh, like internationally relevant content on international security. But the, the website has a lot of uh, content, and you have the Russian version of some of the news. So, uh, and I really like to applaud the, the news team of the IA to make, to have such great uh, socially oriented, socially interesting news, not just on nuclear, but all kinds of radiation technologies and medicine, and it's really fascinating news. Uh, and the events, uh, of course, on Fukushima, we, we wrote a lot of information, translated a lot of information, and all the atom expos, and those are, the, you see, the top events, the top events, but overall, uh, there are 1,000 events over, and uh, each of them have a different amount of materials. Uh, here you see the uh, just the the idea of our uh, semantic scientific portal nuclear nuclear 2.0 uh, for 10 years the first original 10 years uh, we called it the Russian nuclear community portal uh, we tried to make something similar to the American nuclear society where they have a great uh, news website uh, and they've updated it now it's really it's even become even better and we tried to make it in for Russia uh, as a startup, uh, uh, we offer uh, just unfortunately very few private companies uh, advertisement opportunities, and uh, they do. And uh, so we present to them some kind of a platform, a knowledge exchange, communication platform for both knowledge management and public engagement, uh, where they can openly present their business information, not just government oriented, because as you know. Uh, Rosatom is a government corporation, yeah, and now it's more of a co corporation than, than anything else. And um, so we do some kind of a public service to really bring together uh, the regulator, the, the, uh, of course, the, 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 the National uh, uh, Atomic Organization, Rosatom, the government uh, bodies, the environmental ministry, the all kinds of government, the, 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 the um, the, the lawmakers, uh, the politicians, uh, then the educational side, because we have huge uh, now uh, interest in nuclear education. We have many universities. And, of course, the Russian main MFE becoming more active. So we bring education in there. Uh, then, of course, we do monitoring of just the general news that come out on nuclear. And a lot of it is international news uh, about Fukushima and, of course, all kinds of new technologies like SMRs, uh, Micro micro reactors and just today I did a news item um, about Russia's newest uh, subwater uh, submarine uh, stationary uh, reactor underwater reactor for uh, Arctic exploration, which we will work which we put stationary under Arctic Arctic uh, ice to to take out carbohydrates. So it's new newest. Uh, so um, we try to be scientific and uh, and relevant and uh, interesting. 
and it's open community. It's uh, a lot of it is youth oriented. Majority of our readers are young people, um, and it's digital media. And we're really trying to bring. And uh, yes, and I forgot to say, and we try to bring together, bring into the business side, because when the government is so strong as it is in Russia, we try to have uh, try to support the the few existing business companies as much as we can try to contact them, uh, have them write news for us. But it's a very difficult process because uh, it takes a, a, a new outlook to nuclear communications for, for the, for the, for the uh, little older generations. And, um, but uh, uh, we've had some progress. Uh, so, uh, and we also, uh, I'd like to say, this uh, brand, the Nuclear 2.0, uh, we have changed this name uh, three years ago in 2018 when we turned... Uh, when we turned uh, um, 10 years uh, to make it more youth oriented and to really show the, the whole new area of nuclear technologies and nuclear impact and nuclear development that is now op opening up uh, thanks to a lot of government investments uh, in Russia. And um, so we to uh, uh, really challenge and show a bigger view of, of nuclear through this name and um, uh, so you see, it's like a, it's like environmentally conscious, environmentally oriented, and uh, we do a lot on on environment, a lot of news. Uh, so uh, thank you for your attention. Um, I would like to give uh, receive any kind of feedback, uh, suggestions. I know IAEA is very involved in semantic uh, technologies. You guys did a wonderful pr publication uh, on uh, semantic uh, potential for nuclear, and uh, here you see a case. A public case of uh, public outreach and professional outreach, and really, the uh, we have two key points about our project. Uh, first is to bring together society and professionals on one platform together, which have uh, one platform, open platform, where they can communicate, they can write comments, and really uh, bring nuclear uh, to develop uh, together with specialists and the society. Not have this division, but but really make uh, uh, public turn public into specialists. So that's, that's our idea. Mm, and second idea uh, is uh, uh, to uh, use the existing uh, information and make it into semantically rich, uh, enhanced uh, educational uh, uh, teaching, dynamic education. So on a website you can quick, quickly click on different tags, different semantics, and learn um, uh, fast. So if you have any questions, I'd like to answer them, and uh, I'm very happy to do so. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Pavel. If there are any questions to quote you, if there are any questions, please raise your hand and, and uh, let us know. There's a question in uh, chat. chat. Uh, Pavel, you can read it. It's, could you give a breakdown of your portal's visitors and what are the impacts on uh, nuclear power acceptance? Uh, well, uh, I can uh, do the our side, the front end side, what we see. Like I said, uh, we have for uh, in, our, in our media kit, we have studied, uh, and it's, it's, it's quite, quite interesting with new media technologies, with Google anal Analytics and Yandex Analytics to see who is actually reading the website. Also, I would like to say that each uh, news, each publication has the amount of views attached to it, so you can really see how many, um, how many times the, each, each article, each 120,000 articles has been read. So it's completely open, it's completely public, we, we, it's an it's a, it's a open startup for, for, for transparency and cross-communication. And uh, pretty much it's mostly young people. Mm, I would say about uh, half is uh, people uh, uh, 35 and younger, uh, because we have a very active Telegram, very active YouTube, a very active Twitter, uh, Facebook group. We have a biggest in Russia Facebook group on on um, on nuclear radi radiation technologies, uh, and so the young are all about learning about it. They're interesting because. We present nuclear without any politics, without any corporate style, just as it is. We try to stay neutral and scientific based and uh, have really expand the outlook on this global nuclear. And uh, um, I can see who is doing the reposts of our articles, uh, not, in, not in all services, but in some. 
uh, a lot of it are people who are professionals, but some are just uh, fans of nuclear. Uh, a lot of it, most of it are men. I would say about 66%, two thirds are men. Uh, well, actually, even more. But more women has been getting, has been reading it. Um, and uh, yes, it's interesting to see who is actually using this uh, this data and what is their response. Uh, the majority, the, the uh, yes, I'll, I'll, um, we have it in our medic the, the 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 age, the country distribution. Of course, the Russia and Belarus and Kazakhstan, Ukraine, and USA are the, the majority of, of our readers. Uh, but more, what is more interesting is the engagement on social media in comments, uh, how people uh, put likes and reposts on our content because we uh, promote our best content in our social networks. And uh, the, the society's response to that um, and the, some of the uh, uh, publications which get a lot of, a lot of views is uh, interesting. But this is... Uh, this is uh, mm, and like I said, we have over 5,000 unique visitors per day in Russia, in our, uh, it's number one uh, website for, for nuclear, and because, because no other website actually publishes, we, we openly see, you can see the trackers, the visitor, two, two separate visitor trackers uh, on the bottom of our website. No one else is doing it, uh, but, but we do. Uh, but overall, overall, the reaction on public, uh, on public acceptance, um, it is difficult to say because each people, is, all people are so unique, and different. I know one thing about uh, engaging the environmentalists. I regularly go on uh, on uh, radio shows with anti-nuclear uh, specialists uh, who are quite alar alarming anti-nuclear uh, people, and they they promote all kinds of fear fear agenda. And um, I just give uh, links. I, I I try to stay neutral and just provide uh, uh, open scientific information on my website and let the uh, let the audience do their their own choice the stu study to really our point is to teach people how to learn about nuclear to make uh, nuclear interesting for, in learning and if they can uh, start learning about nuclear they can figure out their own uh, their own solutions and overall thanks to Rosatom's um, huge efforts in engaging all kinds of new technologies and exports all the, and research uh, and uh, so they, they produce interesting content uh, based on their news and uh, it creates some social social interest. So Rosada was also doing quite a good job in it. If, any, any more Unfortunately, I cannot see the, uh, the uh, because this, this new system is... Uh, I clicked on so many things and I cannot even see how to bring back the normal screen. <laughs> But uh, yes. But if there are any. Yeah, it's okay. And uh, there is a question from John de Grubois. Yes, thank you. And uh, Mr. Uh, Yakov, that's a very interesting presentation. Uh, so commend your, your efforts there. And uh, I, I think there's perhaps some uh, interesting application of, of this approach in uh, within. The context of the discussion in the last two days, we've we've talked about uh, further engaging our international uh, university community in in research, and uh, certainly in, in Canada, um, my organization, Canada Owners Group, we've been exploring with the Unini University Network uh, how to create a, a portal, a hub that is information exchange and I think we can learn a lot from what you've done here obviously this is a very successful and engaging uh, platform and uh, maybe uh, in the context of this meeting there's a you know an even even wider picture here that uh, basically this technology and the approach you've taken here could uh, be very useful to help industry and uh, governments and national labs and existing programs uh, capture and uh, mobilize information. We, we have tremendous resources in the nuclear community internationally and, and to a large degree we, we don't even know what we have uh, and a platform like this really helps to collect the information, to share, uh, create awareness. And, and I think this, the social engagement side of this is just tremendous. So, um, commend your efforts. It's really nice to see uh, 
semantic technology being applied and i think there is something here we need to pay attention to and and think about how it can be used in in the context of what what we're trying to do in in impro and moving technology you know forward towards the future engaging society in in our research so thank you very interesting thank you i would also like to say that it really comes down to education whether you can make your story as a journalist because i've edited thousands of scientific articles and it's really about making it interesting for society to learn about nuclear so pretty much it all comes down to education and more well more more of a dynamic education not just by you read you learned about one thing and forgot about it it's like interconnected dynamic environmentally ecosystem education Thank you very much. I'm pretty sure I saw another hand raised, but I don't see it right now. Yeah, I also saw it as Lazare, but probably... Do not hesitate. Do not hesitate. This is the last day, and I think it's better to ask directly any questions that you may have. Exactly. But this, okay, while well, people are considering to ask questions just uh, and just a couple of comments this uh, taxonomy three more than 1000 entities it's really a uh, knowledge asset uh, which could be shared with uh, uh, community and reused uh, yeah this is a uh, Good thing. I don't know, did you um, consider sharing this, uh, expose the taxonomy according to semantic web standards, or you are using this only for your internal purposes? Well, th this is the structuring of a media, so it's digital media, and we use it as a, as a, uh, as a popularization, educational media approach, just, for, just on our website. And uh, uh, here you see the working of semantics, but the society, the open, the, the, the open website, you just see the icons and you see it all put together. And uh, uh, yes, uh, I've actually thought about semantic uh, analysis of scientific journalism, taking it further and uh, perhaps uh, providing, uh, uh, because we now have the Drupal 7 website and we platform the version of our uh, content uh, uh, management system. Uh, and now the newest one is Drupal 9, and it's, uh, this one is no longer supported. So we're looking for, for, for to, to find the, the, the funds to update our system. And in Drupal 9, there is much more uh, really cool uh, uh, things you could do on websites, on semant for semantic websites. And uh, uh, yes, I've thought about it, and uh, even more, even more, uh, I've thought about uh, devising uh, uh, even a, a special format, a semantic uh, format. I called it open government uh, format, and it's for for African for African countries where they um, produce, uh, for example, intergovernmental content, and uh, when they produce intergovernmental content, like just take news or. or they also uh, provide uh, systematically uh, a systematic semantic um, breakdown of it together. So it's this format which you could uh, really, uh, if there's a lot of it, you could throw into large databases, uh, into uh, search engines, and uh, it would not just be um, it would not just be uh, just a, just simple text. Uh, but it will also be semantically rich text done by hand because it, it has to be done by hand. It cannot be done by computer. But the computer can do all the rest: the machine learning, the the, the everything else. The uh, it can do all kinds of things. But the original, uh, it's pretty much uh, scientific journalism. The original scientific journalism it has to be done by hand because the human needs to understand what is semantically important in this. Uh, in this item and in the future uh, if you saw like movies uh, about uh, the future where uh, people just download some kind of files which 
present some kind of value to their future society. It's pretty much what we're talking about. We're talking about uh, maybe it will be a semantically rich data and file, which could be the, 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 the new format of scientific communications in the future. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Christian. Yes. Uh, hi, everybody. I just entered on um, the website uh, our presenter discussing on it, and it's a huge amount of information and in different form. Really, it is very interesting. It's just a comment and a lot of information to be digested. Really, really, I was impressed. Thank you. Very well done job. And a huge effort to do something like this. Thank you. Thank you.